Um, one being it's bright orange. Yes. <laughs> you know, they didn't yeah. see me, and you know, but another is just like, uh, just for me sharing uh, my story and my experience, um, I just want to start a conversation for those who have been um, directly affected by it, mm -hmm. so that way we can share some of the experiences, maybe help out as far as like you're not feeling alone, mm -hmm. having another. Uh, option for you to open up with this dialogue about things we usually don't talk about for sure and also people who who haven't been affected by incarceration uh, because if you have a story and I have a story and somebody who hasn't been affected by incarceration mm -hmm. comes up we can provide them with a window to a world that they're not exposed to for sure and this isn't our experiences aren't something that isn't like written down in a book uh, I've been places you can't really go unless mm -hmm. you have done a crime for you sure. know what I mean so uh, that information is the only thing that I wish to share with those who haven't been. I challenged the person I was before this situation. I put my naiveness the, of the person I was before this on everybody else. So mm -hmm. like, I was in a place before this happened to me that I had no idea. Even though I've had family fr and friends who have been locked up, I didn't really know what went on inside or how tough it was to be in the system. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's one of the reasons why I kind of want to come out because like, I am a student, you're a student, um, this could happen to anybody, it's very abrupt, it's hard to get out of the situation, it's a bigger It's a bigger deal, it's a bigger process, there's a lot of nuances that happen mm -hmm. that I was completely unaware of because this happened to me out of state and there's a lot of rules and regulations in the law, um, it's a lot of power struggle as far as like validity in your voice mm -hmm. uh, because even though I was telling the truth a lot of times in a courtroom when it's back and forth, it's not really about truth and and false. It's just kind of like to convince a com you know a story that can convince someone to seem like you know. To either more, believe you or not. Yeah, more way more than the other. If, if someone's watching this video and they run across this, what would be just one thing that they want they want to get out of you just from um, your experiences your yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things uh, to get out of it, um, but the the truth is, like, you know what I mean, I didn't do anything mm -hmm. to get out of the situation, mm -hmm. um, to be all the way honest, like, it took a very long time for me to be even be in a position to where I can believe that I had a chance mm -hmm. to get this overturned. So the only thing that kept me stable and sane going through this process was the Bible. Um, it worked for me. I, I don't know how it works for everybody mm -hmm. else, but the more I put my faith and control into that, mm -hmm. and the more I let go of myself, uh, was the only thing that kind of saved me. And then things started happening. Now, yes, I prayed for these things to happen. Mm -hmm. They did not happen when I wanted them to happen, mm -hmm. or when I believed that I needed them to happen. But when they did happen, it was right on time. It was right on time. So it was like, <laughs> Countless times, like, teary-eyed crying in the prayer, like, I need this to happen, show me a sign type of thing. Yeah. It didn't come when I wanted it to come, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? When I thought I was the weakest that I could be, you know? Mm -hmm. But small things started happening. Mm -hmm. Small things started happening, and then it just started, like, the momentum started going. It's a real problem um, in the justice system of trying to have enough time to figure out whether somebody is guilty or not. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a capitalistic system. Uh, so everything is on speed. We got to get these cases done and get these people out of here. Sure. Um, and that's something that I didn't know. But, uh, you know, going through the process, but I realized there's a bigger picture when I got out. To, to where I am today is a blessing. Uh, it's a miracle to me. Um, but that's what I would want people to know because a lot of times people look to me for advice about certain things. And the only thing I have to give is just tell them to pray. Stay faithful. Uh, yeah, stay faithful uh, in whatever you believe in, um, but for sure, because that's that's the only thing I t turned to. Uh, and then I had people who believed me, or believed and put their efforts behind me, and they helped me reach that goal. And things turned around. Like I said, it may be coincidence, but to me it was just like somebody's talking to me and telling sure. me to go somewhere. 
for me, it was all about letting go of the things before this incident. Like, you know, a lot of things I thought I control, like I'm making the right goals, climbing up the ladder, yeah. this degree, I'm gonna get this now, you yeah, know what I mean, yeah. type of stuff. And after this experience, I let things come to me. Uh, I, obviously, I pray for, you know, certain things like, you know, this would be nice, but I, I don't be like, I want that though. Like, you know, like, this is nice, this is nice, whatever you feel, mm -hmm. I'm okay with whatever you got for me. Mm -hmm. Because it's just it's just me, I can't say it's like for everybody, but that's just, <laughs> that humbling experience down in that dungeon was just something crazy for me. And I just, I just learned to kind of like, just be humbled, let things come for me, everything, you know, appreciate every little thing. Um, don't get, you know, like, feel as though like, you know, I want everything, gotta have, like this type of greed mentality. Um, because out here you can't get, it's a, it's a fast paced world. It's, I had to go through it for something. So if anything, I'm just gonna share it with other people to, to help people out. Mm -hmm. um, and just giving them knowledge of what I went through and just try to be of some use. For sure, um, spreading it back. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. That's uh -huh. awesome.